love it. You got some water. You got tanks. Tanks? Tanks. 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 <laughs> All right, cool. We're gonna picture this and we're out. That's it. <laughs> well, first and foremost, I'm gonna thank you and welcome you to Houston. Woo! And yeah! Woo! Woo! We're feeling good. That's just great. Our Astros are heading to the World Series. So yeah. Woo! Thank you. Well, I need to give a congratulations to the two of you. Yeah! Oh. yeah. I love it. Yeah, what a year, huh? I'm completely, what a year. completely, and you just, both of you are glowing. Oh. And it's not from sweat. It's just like, <laughs> <laughs> humidity. Well, just don't come in July. You feel like we're humidity. You know that, too. I like it. Oh, no, uh, you guys no. are truly not only superstars, but you are role models for a lot of people, not only in this room, but all over the world. I mean, that's a lot, big responsibility. Um, how do you handle something? Oh, I mean, <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's a responsibility not to be taken lightly, I think, when you're in a position where you can influence people, uh, especially young people. It's nice to be able to be aware of that and to be a positive influence. Uh, you know, when I was a kid, WWE superstars were like real-life superheroes to me, and they were the people that inspired me to follow my dreams through hard work and dedication. So uh, if I can be that or we can be that, you know, for someone in the front row here or anybody at event, an event watching around the world, then uh, that's an incredible thing. That's fantastic. What yeah, about you? Um, I think, uh, I think it's, it's important not to take a second of any of it for granted and to just prove that no matter what um, limitations that may have been set on you in the past or, or um, what the status quo is, you can always fight beyond that and, and achieve whatever it is that you want to put your mind to. Because um, if, if, if somebody like me can go from, from failing PE to main event in WrestleMania, I think that's <laughs> an important lesson to everybody that anybody can do whatever the hell they want to do. I love that. She's uh, she's tough. She, she doesn't back down from anybody, and uh, she probably would have been the the woman that inspired me the most. And um, as far as male wrestlers go, Mick Foley. Uh, yeah. 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 He's the person that got me back into wrestling. Just any time he would talk and how sympathetic he was, and just how much he would pull your attention in. I, I that was he was he was the turning point for me. I love that. What about you? Oh man, for me, Shawn Michaels was always my Woo! Uh, he was just the first dude that I really kind of attached myself to because he was not the biggest, he wasn't the strongest, but he had like the biggest heart. He had the, he was the biggest dog in the fight kind of thing, you know, even though he wasn't the biggest dude. So uh, I was not really, I was never going to be Andre the Giant or Hulk Hogan or the Ultimate Warrior, but uh, I thought, <laughs> oh, I could be Shawn Michaels. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still worrying about trying to measure up to him. Uh, <laughs> I haven't got there yet, but I'm working hard. And Bret Hart and, and Eddie Guerrero and stuff like that. So they, they were the ones that really inspired me to try to, uh, to try to follow him. I love that. That's so good. I only have probably another question because I want the fans to ask questions because I know our time is tight. So if you have a question, please go ahead and start lining up right now. Oh, good Lord. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the whole audience is saying, Run! <laughs> Okay, I'm about to call somebody out real quick, but I see, I'm, my bad is when I can see people's phones. And so, I know you're watching a game over there. Oh, you watching? <laughs> 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 it just happens to be on. I'm not, you know, I'm not watching. Yeah. I'm multitasking. You're yeah. multitasking. Do you hate football until you come? No, no, no. Do you still hate football? Do you still hate football? Still early, all right? I'm a big Chicago Bears fan, so. Really? I have no idea. There's Saints fans out there. Yes. You 
gotta, you gotta give us one, all right? We need the win, please. <laughs> You're gonna hate football today. We're gonna beat you. <laughs> I love it. All right, let's get to fans because it's a long line and we only have about 20 minutes or so. So take it away, man. Hey guys, I'm a huge fan of you guys. And uh, my question is, what was your reaction when you heard your theme songs for the first time? Did you like it or did you? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> You've had the same one the whole time. The right? whole time, yeah. yeah mine hasn't that. changed. Uh, I, I, uh, I think I liked it. Yeah, I liked it. I liked it. <laughs> An awful lot, um, <laughs> um, but it, it's catchy and people sing it real good, so that's nice. That's yeah, true. I was yes. jealous of your theme song. Really? Yeah, well, because it's got the woes in it. The woes and the hey, 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 hey. Yeah. 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 yeah and I always wished I had some woes in my music. Uh, <laughs> Give so us man some woes. I heard the shit theme song for the first time. I was like, ooh, that's cool. Oh, I was like, that's, that's those are some bad dudes right there. I remember that. <laughs> and then uh, when I abruptly left the shield uh, and I got my new music, I was like, this sucks. <laughs> this, this is terrible. We're not we're rushing this. It's awful. And then, uh, then what, two, three years later, we ended up putting Burn It Down into it and now it's a whole thing. So <laughs> here we are. Yeah, no, I, I learned to love it over time. Oh, thank you, guys. Thank, thank you. you. Next question, please. Yeah. Hi. Um, I just wanted to ask Seth if you're ever gonna dye your hair half blonde again. Oh, no. oh. <laughs> I can't get that. He seems to feel a certain way about that. Are you guys doing something anymore? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, so uh, I'll tell the full story sometime. The abridged version is that I actually was going to bring it back for WrestleMania this past year. Oh. I got overruled. Not oh. Not right. I'm overruled. <laughs> and uh, so I, I think it'll stay in, in the past for, oh. for the foreseeable future anyway. Who knows? Never say never in WWE, but for now, yeah, I think it's gonna, maybe my Hall, Hall of Fame induction. I'll, 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 <laughs> Thank you so much, sir. Next question, please. I have two quick questions. First, Becky, why orange? Why did you pick orange for your hair? Because she's a ginger. <laughs> <laughs> I think I saw a picture and I was like, oh, that looks cool. <laughs> <laughs> Saturday, Sunday. Sure, you yeah, you yeah, sure. switch it. There you go. Right. <laughs> Hi, I'm Roger. Uh, Seth, Becky, if there's any uh, anyone, yeah. any wrestlers you guys want to face in the past, what would it be? You say from the past? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Jazz. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> She's still going. Yes! She's still going. She's still wrestling. She's still She's wrestling. Still yeah. yeah, you can do it. Yeah. You can catch this. Yes. Holy cow, is she really? She is. Yes. Over wow. NWA wow. champion. Wow. San Antonio at hybrid. Good for jazz. I'm Beth Phoenix. Uh, yes. yes. Ooh, I'll, I'll take Edge. He makes that match, eh? All right, there we go. Beth and Edge versus us. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, Seth. All sorts of quick questions. Um, Becky, uh, why do you, how do you feel about women's wrestling evolving from wherever we saw back in the past to today in the WWE? I, I feel pretty good about it. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I I uh, yeah, I, I think we just need to continue. We need to keep building interest. Everybody needs to keep stepping up their game. I like, agree. Huh? I agree because bra and panty matches, they can't fly in today. No. So, <laughs> no. Um, what's your worst match you wrestled? Oh! Oh! Clearly you haven't watched all my matches. Oh! <laughs> got network. Oh, oh man. Uh, one time I wrestled uh, WWE, former WWE champion Kobe Kingston in SmackDown like maybe five years ago. And uh, it was so bad that we actually had to go out and redo it. 
Oh, no. If you don't succeed, try and try again. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your questions. Thanks, please. Hey, how you doing? Congratulations again. Um, Becky, you done a movie? Is there any movies in the future for both y'all? And not a chick flick, please. <laughs> <laughs> I do love chick flick. Oh. <laughs> Shocking. Um, yes, possibly. What? Is it is it it? Actually, no. Wait. What am I talking about? There's one coming out next July. Lingo. I'm in. I'm in uh, an animated movie. Oh, okay. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Next, Thank please. You. Yes. Um, yes, uh, what is the one thing y'all uh, hope to accomplish, whether it's on a professional level or a personal level? On a professional level, I think that the world still needs to see me versus Ronda Rousey one-on-one. -on -one. Yes! Yes! I'll be here holding down the court whenever, whenever she wants to come back. If she wants to come back now, I heard she tried to cut off her finger to avoid... <laughs> Some people go to extreme measures, and I would suggest it, but yeah, one, one day. Oof, I think for me, uh, you know, I've had, uh, I've had some moments at WrestleMania, but I've never been on the marquee for the main event in the last match, so I've got some catching up to her to do, but that's the one for me. I'd like to be the, the match that goes on last. Right, thank you. Thank you. First of all, you guys are but, uh, Becky, what, did you always know that you were the man? Deep <laughs> <laughs> down inside, oh. <laughs> uh, hi, my name's Adelie. I remember y'all from uh, WrestleMania. Um, so, there's been a lot of historic moments in the in women's wrestling. Uh, starting with when y'all debuted. I always look back and watch that video. Um, I know the reason why the the company gave the woman a push was because the fans uh, were the fans were asking for it on Twitter and they were uh, chanting women's wrestling and uh, my question was how can we support that even more? Um, I, I think it, it's it's what you guys do it's it's making your voices heard and um, and, and supporting um, when we're out there when we're, when we're wrestling you know and I think sometimes. Uh, Sometimes it can be a little bit tough being a wrestling fan, you know. You, you, you guys, you, you stick through a lot, you know. And, and, and we're trying, and, and we're trying to make it interesting. So I think stay patient um, and and make your voices heard because that worked really well for me. Oh, I, yes, I appreciate it. We love you. We love you, Becky. Hi. Uh, if you could have a match with any non-wrestler, who would it be and why? Oh, <laughs> Ooh. Arnold. Donald Trump. <laughs> WrestleMania main event, bro. <laughs> That's it. Two and one. Yeah! Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> uh, Ruby Rose. I don't know. Ooh, Beyonce. Let's find out who the real When did did you felt when you you won your first championship? Felt <laughs> <laughs> oh, pretty good. <laughs> yeah, it was awesome. It was a pretty good, uh, pretty sweet moment. One of those that you'll you'll remember forever. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Great shirt, by the way. Hey, Becky, Beth, how long have you been wrestling? So, accumulatively, I have been wrestling 10 years, but I started when I was 15. I'm 32 now, so kind of, kind of 17 years, but I took a seven-year gap. <laughs>